Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. Wow. Oh, my nipples are getting hard. Yeah. Freaky bitch. Like a cue. Come on. Mm. So the van has arrived. This is the van. You looking forward to this week? I am looking forward to this week. What are you most looking forward to? Why are you so to? smug, mate? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just putting the camera in your face for once. <laughs> once again today, we are recording another episode of our new podcast with a very special guest. But yeah, more on that soon. We'll be launching hopefully within the coming weeks. Max, um, please tell me about about the watch strap on your wrist, the tag. This? Yes. The tag. This is the Whoop strap. Whoop. 3.0. It's basically a fancy heart rate monitor and it tracks your sleep and it gives you like a really detailed analysis of everything. What is arriving today? It's an iPad with a keyboard and an Apple Pen. I think it's cool, although I think that's a lot of money for a keyboard. How much was it? £280. For a keyboard? So Ben's trying to get in on the latest shoe drop via the end website. He's never done this before. Well, I've only ever tried. Max has succeeded. Take off it. Take back on. Don't use. Mate, what the f***? Look at the symbol. That's your f***ing. It's yours. Can't believe, mate. It's coming home. I've just gone back. Don't go back. Why have you sacked off so last minute? Because PayPal just f***ed me up. You shouldn't have on PayPal, mate. The whole game, mate. I literally, I said. Matt, shut up. He's trying to buy the phone uh, Nike Dunks that have just come out. They literally released today. Uh, he lost on a draw this morning. It's not working. And yeah. It's over, isn't it? What are you doing here? Have you ever noticed that when you put the camera up, you become really mean, but behind the lens, you're actually a really nice guy? Stop stop acting up for the camera, mate. Just be nice, you know? Just talk to me about what's going on. I'm trying to... Me and Dan are going through um, some, like... We want to do something different on the van we're getting, vinyl-wise, rather than just the logo. And I was trying to draw some sort of geometry design, and um, Dan's laughing in my van, because it looks like... What was it? Does it look like? Uh, maybe like the mystery machine that yeah. Scooby-Doo travels in. Join us on set, shooting Mr. Ben Lawton. Loudon. Mayor of Swandon. Lawton, 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 whatever it is. Ha ha ha. Pro Fortnite player. Yeah, bro. Uh. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. Wow, Everybody such a small calm. box. As every camera person will know, when you start doing more and more camera things, you try and make your kit as big as possible and you want your camera to be massive. But then you get to a point where you're like, this actually sucks because the camera's so heavy and now I don't want to take it out of the bag because it's so heavy. But now, problem solved. This is a new camera. This is the Fujifilm X100V, crop sensored APS-C compact camera with a fixed lens, which I have not shot on a fixed lens camera for a very long time. It's come straight from where? China. And that's it. It's tiny. What lens is on that? Is that a lens on there? Yeah. That's insane. So this lens is a 23mm f2, which on an APS-C is basically a 35mm. 35mm f2 in a body that is le literally smaller than an iPhone. Do you think this is going to reignite something that you've had a passion for in the past? I think as probably everyone who starts their own business or, or turns a hobby into a business will know that when you start doing it for work, you can lose, it loses a bit of its spark. Dan and I were having a conversation the other day about how we haven't taken pictures for us in a very long time, or I know I definitely haven't. But now, you can actually start taking pictures just out and about again, and start taking pictures for us, and it's, well, for me. Oh, yes. Oh, my nipples are getting hard. Yeah. Oh. And bang. Where oh, are you now? Oh, we're in Dubai. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. look at all these fancy cars around us. Burj, the Burj Khalifa is over there. Burj Khalifa. Bang. Where are you now? We're in the office. Back to work. Slow and steady, my boy. Ben's put in his, his charging board that he's made at the weekend. We've had uh, many DIY failures over the years between Ben and I, and I think this might be a success. For once, just left him to it. I think that's the magic. I've not got involved. There's not been too many chefs. We've had two, one chef and two, it's just smashed. Two heads are not better than one, <laughs> yeah. hasn't it? Sorry, is that 
It's that black van. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Mate, that old Defender of yours, it was lovely, but mate, that was economy class. This is business class. Yeah. <laughs> business, baby. Look at that, son. Yeah, you've got a nice little 12 volt output there. Probably 23. So the van has arrived. This is the van. This is the view that you'll see us driving. Brum, brum, oh. Smashed it, first drive. That wasn't very good. Jesus, oh. Dan. <laughs> first drive, first drive for me anyway in this. Uh, currently sitting at 11.9 miles on the... Uh, Your old dashy? On the dashy boy. You excited, Max? Yeah, very excited. It's nice in the back as well. Nice and roomy. Seats are a bit upright, but I feel like I fixed my posture from all the editing, so pretty <laughs> ideal. Oh my God. So new. Get me home, please, chauffeur. Joss is driving an automatic van for the drive. first time and he has a shoot by himself tomorrow which he needs to drive the van for, so this is his prep, prep of shooting. But Josh is a great driver, so we're all looking forward to it. We're all... I'm trusting Joss. It's nice, mate. It's very weird not having a mirror there. Yeah. It's very weird. Joss is about to drive the van for the first time. He's the first person to drive it on his own and he's got a shooting siren sister. So good luck, Joss. We'll see you when you're back. It's Brittany, bitch, and I am back. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brittany, bitch, and I am back. He is, mate. He's gone. The boys have grown up. I'm about this close to buying a new camera. Am I about to make a mistake? Why do you want to buy a Leica? I'm actually... I spoke to James about this as well. Just to keep the spark inside of photography alive, you know? Have a little camera on the hip that you can just pull out and shoot at any moment. I don't know, I'm just looking for something that's a little bit more street friendly. And I've always wanted a Leica. Well, not always. I've kind of wanted a Leica for a while now. I'm for and against it. I'm on the bridge. I think I'm leaning more for it based on how much he wants it. I think if he was worse with money, I'd tell him not to, but Dan's pretty frugal as is, so as his business partner, and we run a photography-based business, I should be imploring that. Probably should return it when I get it, to be fair. Very exciting. Probably rubbish. <laughs> Nine thirty-four on Friday, and I am at Aura Signs. That's Ollie from Aura. Getting the van wrapped with signage, which we'll see now. Hi mate. Hey everyone. What's going on? We have just had the, the van wrapped. The van rapide. That's how you park a van with Ben Lawton. Thank you. This is something I've been wanting for a long time now and finally got around to buying it. Inside this box we have the Mikey Q. Come on. Oh my god mate. Yeah, so this is a Leica Q. My friend James has a Leica, um, and ever since I've seen him with one, I've always wanted one myself. Do it, Dan. Oh my God. Just enjoy it, mate. Wow, so much going on. Oh, mate, look at this. That is packaging. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 
feels so good. I am looking forward to capturing some good stuff with this. This has just come in the post. Can you guess what it is? Uh, I haven't upgraded said item in probably three, four years. But here we go. Here's the brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max in space gray, of course. That box is big. Wow. That is mega. Big so slim one. though. All right. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah. The square edges are wow. so nice. Look at that. So this year Apple have removed the all plastic sleeve. Now we've got this paper cover. Oh boy, <laughs> that was insane. That's so shiny, it's not gonna stay that way for very long. <laughs> I'm excited for the cameras. The cameras on my A Plus are really starting to show their age and I'm very excited to finally have a brand new phone, literally on release day with the latest and best cameras. Doesn't get much better than this. Oh my oh. god. Cut to fully set up phone. I didn't even do anything, I just opened what? my old phone. Hello? This week was really good, uh, lots of packages. Next week is probably not going to be as good. It feels a bit like Christmas this week. Mm -hmm. Everyone's had new things, Josh has got some new things as well. New phone. Very excited, it's weird. I kind of feel like, okay, cool, it does all the exact same things my old phone did. That was a good use of a grand. Thank you very much for watching the vlog. Amazing. Oh, actually, it was still his birthday as well yesterday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Stella. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. If you've enjoyed the vlog, oh my god. <laughs> If you Jeez. enjoyed the vlog, please make sure you like the video because it helps us out a lot. And thank you to everyone that liked it last week because it really made a difference to how the video performed. While Stella's doing that, make sure you subscribe way well, down there as well. It helps us out a lot more than you can imagine. Yes, please do like the video because we've just put a lot of hard work into the edit and we put a lot of hard work into the filming. So be a ways not to. It's hard being funny. Legend. Oh! Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.